From the campus of the University of Alabama, live sports. From Alabama's sports team, this is WVUA Sports. Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm Scott Braswell filling in for Gary Harris. The Central High School Falcons basketball team has had a season to remember that's taken them to the semifinals of the Final 48 tournament. Today, they faced a tough Ramsey High squad with a trip to the 5A state championship on the line. And with that, let's go to the highlights. Central trying to get back to the state championship for the first time since 2007. And Central's Javarius Ritchie gets off to a great start, nails the three in the corner. He would carry Central in the first half. Richie again going hard to the hole. Wasn't done quite just yet. He scored 17 in the first half, 23 total. Central down eight at the break. Closing seconds of the third, Central misses the three, but Vincent Davis is there for the putback before the buzzer, and the Central crowd is on their feet. The Ramsey had other intentions. Mitchell Baldwin gets the putback right there. Then Baldwin intercepts the pass and gets it to go for two. Huge four-point momentum swing. Closing seconds, Eddie Harris for Central throws in the three, but it doesn't matter. The buzzer sounds not a great sound for Central as they fall short. Ramsey narrowly escapes by three, 67 to 64. Rams had four scores and double figures of Central's two. The Falcons' storybook season is over. Let's take a look at some other scores. 5A boys semifinals. Parker upset Faith Academy 47 to 30. They'll advance to the state championship on Saturday at 7 p.m. Let's go to the girls, 5A girls semifinals. Silicaga defeats Brewer 77 to 53. And Winona, simply too much for BC Rain High School. They win it 90 to 43. They'll play on Saturday at 5 p.m. for the 5A girls state championship. Well, not a baseball. The Alabama baseball team suffered a tough loss yesterday to Southern Miss in Hattiesburg 2 to 1. But there's no time to sulk for the Crimson Tide. Next up is a series at Louisiana Lafayette this weekend. The Raging Cajuns currently sit at number 10 in the country and 8-1 overall. Needless to say, Alabama will have to bring its A game. Coach Mitch Gaspar says even in those close losses, you can still grow as a team. Sometimes it just kind of works out that way. You know, last year I thought we really started to become a team when we went to Louisville. Uh, last year we took a young team out and, and played extremely well and uh, lost three one-run games, but uh, you knew at that point we were going to be able to compete and continue to get better. Now on to women's basketball forward, Nikki Hexetter was named to the SEC Community Service Team. The Kennesaw Georgia native is very active in the Tuscaloosa community, volunteering with Habitat for Humanity, the Summer Food and Fun Program, and the Cross Points Transition Program for students with disabilities. She also has been very involved during the holidays with Project Angel Tree at Christmas time. Hexetter was also a nominee for the 2014 All-State Women's Basketball Coaches Association Good Works Team, so congrats to Nikki. Don't forget tonight, the Alabama women will travel down to the Plains to take on the Auburn Tigers at 6 o'clock. All time we have for sports, we're back with more news right after this.